Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick example here of diving into PIX4D a little bit deeper on some of the options that are available that are really interesting and, and are uh, uh, really usable for customers out there. Uh, and that is the ability to import a, a or we'll generate and import a KML file into um, Google Earth. So you can see right here, I went down and flew this the day. This is in, in PIX4D. I flew this uh, mission with a uh, Disco uh, with the uh, Hero 5 in it at uh, 100 meters. So after I flew this, I ran it and everything in, uh, in PIX4D. Um, but there's a couple other options that you can dive into here that you can select that, that is, pretty, uh, is pretty interesting. So if you jump in here to the processing um, options on here, if you go to the uh, the third uh, the third level here is it uh, or the third stage that it does the uh, ortho mosaics and everything else um, you can come down here and you can click on this Google Map tile and uh, uh, KML um, down there at the bottom so the the uh, uh, point cloud and everything is actually generating the uh, tiles for uh, uh, for Google Maps and then you know organizing them with that uh, that uh, KML file um, so if you run that you get a uh, you get a KML file. I'll pull this over here. So this is the the end game down here, and you get this file right here. You also have it um, up here for a uh, uh, an HTML. But down here, you can uh, just double click on that. It jumps into all these uh, all these other tiles that are up here that it created, um, and um, then you can pull up your uh, Google Earth and you can input it into there. So in this example, here's the area that I went out to, and this is uh, Google Earth here. And now it just it puts that in there. Now, one thing with this, I didn't take the time to go through and make my boundaries for where I wanted it to process and everything. I just ran it straight. Um, so to clean this up, I'd obviously take that down and uh, and change the way uh, this is running so I don't get all these issues with the uh, um, with the file over here on the edges. But I'm mainly interested in this riverbed right down here uh, for the, uh, the 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 folks that uh, own this area right here. So. Um, Anyway, you can import it right in there, and now you know when you take a look at what the uh, yeah, you can zoom in on or what the standard resolution is there in Google Maps, which is you know it's pretty dang. Uh, uh, let me get it down here straight, Nader. So you look over here and you can see what the resolution is there, and now you can jump over here and you can see how that resolution. Um, you can just dive way in here with it and really improve the resolution. Um, again, this is from a hundred meters with that GoPro. Uh, uh, with that GoPro 5, but you can see how much more resolution that you can get um, in the areas that you want to. And the other neat thing about this is that uh, it's also um, the elevations are also set up in this, so you can see the three dimensional um, part of this as well. And uh, uh, pretty interesting applications that you can have. So, in the case of uh, this customer, they have several properties that have. Uh, areas down throughout the the valley and the rivers like this and now from a large uh, view on Google Earth they can zoom in and take a look at those different areas as it will populate around here in the different areas for the management and the conservation um, of these uh, of these areas that they have so anyway a pretty neat application for a Google Maps and it's a uh, uh, very easy and there's nothing really to it in um, uh, in PIX4D other than clicking on the fact that you want it to do this and then uh, literally clicking on the file when it's done and it will open up um, in this way and then you can save that as well in, uh, uh, in Google Earth. So pretty interesting.